this was beautifully done, especially for a period piece and having it be in black and white, just, it fit, it fit that kind of time frame. And I loved the acapella song that the singer was singing. Her voice was just incredibly beautiful. She had started singing one song and then had come back and started singing one towards the end of the film, both so talented. All of the acting was great. I really believed what was going on and what a controversial topic, especially at, you know, at that time um, when this was being done, abortion was something that was illegal and, you know, people had to run to midwives and, and try to get cures. So I thought that this was a beautifully done piece. This is a beautiful film. I loved how it was shot in black and white. It, it made it feel extremely vintage and period and exact, it was, it was perfect. It was exactly how it should be done. The lighting was so interesting because it was very dark in a lot of um, sections of the film. And again, those were dark times and especially living alone in the middle of nowhere in Italy. I think it was Italy that they were, that this was happening. Um, the lighting was just so on point. Um, I loved the music. I thought it was very in keeping with the storytelling. Um, it's a very, um, emotional, uh, piece. I just, I found the storytelling to be very, um, uh, just beautiful and it's really well done. Um, just what these people had to go through to be able to, you know, have their, you know, have their abortions. Um, it, you know, I, it's crazy. Um, but I, I'm really happy that you made this movie because it's something I've never seen or thought of before. And it, it, it uh, opened my eyes to something new. So thank you very much. Congratulations. It was really interesting. It was a period piece. It was black and white. And um, we, I, you know, you don't really find out until the woman comes and says, you know, I'm three months pregnant. I need you to help me. And we realize, oh, she's kind of the go-to person for abortions in town, which I, you know, I assume is a very, very illegal, um, at that time. And the scene of like watching her do it was painful. Oh, it was, I was like, I had to, I wanted to look away. Um, but you know, I, it shows the reality of what women really did have to go through and you have to go to somebody's house and have this for lack of a better word, like back alley procedure and just hope that you make it out alive and hope that it does nothing goes wrong. Um, so, I mean, I love, I love the, that it's, you know, women helping other women and that the husband was also supportive of it as well and helped her get home afterwards. Um, it was very good. It was very well done. It was also very sad because, um, that is a reality that a lot of people had and sometimes currently have to go through. So um, just really, really great job and great storytelling. I thought this was really, really intense. I really loved that it was black and white. Um, I thought the singing at the beginning and kind of in different parts was really, really powerful um, and really kind of framed it really well. Uh, the fact that this all kind of took place in what seemed to be a very harsh winter to me felt very fitting um just the the tone that it set the the kind of like i said with like the black and white it added a little bit of i don't know i guess bleakness to the tone of the film which i thought was really interesting um and then you really only spend time with her in this kind of one rent, one room home and you see her doing different things and helping in whatever way she can and you know providing whatever services she can for different people the little girl coming in and you know being some sort of courier in some kind of way and she just seems to kind of be uh, an open door for different people so I thought it was really, really well done. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was haunting. Um, I, I really liked it. Well, this was a stirring period short about a woman who provides abortions for other women in the area. 
Given the period wardrobe and rustic setting, the film was very effective in black and white. The performances of the characters were excellent, notably the lead who was so sensitive and gentle and sympathetic to the young women who came to her. The soulful vocals were excellent to set the mood off the top. I thought it was a very clever choice also to have the tiny house being a model isolated in the snow. Well done. A beautiful aesthetic to it, so specific and really aligns with the tone that the piece seems to be going for, which is something, which is something sobering, something uh, severe, but also something that is tender and quiet and beautiful in its darkness. I really think that that's apparent, uh, especially during rewatches as well. Uh, the subject matter here um, takes us back in time and yet still so very much um, emotionally resonates as if it was a story set today. Uh, the acting is subtle and effective in all of its uh, performances and it it uh, certainly brings Italian pride, uh, I believe, to anyone who uh, is from it culturally, who is familiar with this world, they certainly feel the authenticity in it. I really love this movie. I, I thought it was really good. The black and white was gorgeous. And yeah, I would have loved to see even more, you know, like a longer feature length story because, you know, personally, I haven't seen a lot of stories about abortionists and, and uh, stories about these types of characters. And I think it's very interesting and powerful subject matter i would just love to see more stories like that and yeah i thought the acting was really good really subtle but really good and yeah i love that it was all one location I, I i love those types of stories where it's just like one location but you can tell a really interesting story and that location is also just you know great production design but yeah overall it was a, it was a great movie so enjoy.